Guys, I had such a weird day today, you know? Because my friend pulled through for me and he bought me a car when I told him mine that I, I don't have much for cash and my friend's pretty well off and he's a great friend. But it was green. I fucking hate green cars. I hate green cars! No, I just went on this very expensive trip. You know, because that's the lifestyle I live. <laughs> but uh, this guy bumped into me. I, I mean, I know, and I know this guy who bumped into me. He's the one who provided this trip for me. I'm, you know, he, he gave me everything for this trip. He really wanted me to go on there. And I said, fine, I'll, I'll think about it. And I ended up going. But he bumped into me. He bumped into me. And I tripped and scuffed my fucking. Gucci shoe. And I just had also the situation too, the audacity of this person. He, he's a professional fighter. He's been there for years, been world champion for years. But I'm bigger than him. I'm, I'm a lot bigger than him. And he told me I couldn't beat him up. The fucking audacity. Look at me. And he told me this at my lowest point too. My tire popped on the fucking highway and he was helping me out. And he called me out right in front of everyone in their car on the highway. God damn it. Oh, wait till you get a load of this one. I was out with my girlfriend, beautiful, talented with music. She models. We were at a nice dinner. She was looking fine. And a chick across the way was not looking at me. And I just, I just don't understand because I got this fucking perfect person right here. Why the fuck is that one not interested in me? Here, it's for that attitude. Guys, I know we come from all different walks and sizes, but there's one thing that will carry all of us men throughout life, and that is the attitude of gratitude. Throughout all of our entire lives, there was a determined outcome put forth out there, and it was determined by your attitude. This is because an attitude can last over longer periods of time compared to an emotion. Because an emotion could last at a short period of time, given the type of man you are. Now, any man out there can experience heartbreak and it can leave you in a despairing turmoil of shit. But it's that attitude shift that just pulls you right through it. That helps you heal your emotional wounds to shift to something better, to shift your perception to, well, there's someone better around the corner, so I really don't care anymore. Keep moving forward. But it's with that attitude of gratitude that truly helps you evolve more into life, really flourish within everything that goes on around you, helping truly convince yourself that whatever happened, happened, and you would not have it any other way, and you're thankful for it, and that something is gonna build upon it, and something better is gonna show up from it. Something will evolve better from it. Everything around us was put here by a system of gratitude. All that's going around us, abundantly pushing against us constantly, is placed there and functions through a system of gratitude. And that's why it's just so easily, if you don't have gratitude within life, you're swiftly pushed off to the side. You're not entwined with what's going on with life itself. No enjoyment, no nothing. You're ignored completely. And you're left with what got you there, your ego. Those thoughts stewing inside of you. You're ignored and completely left with that. Because you think you're above this world. You think the world revolves around you. But how can you think that the world revolves around you when this system of gratitude was basically the thing that placed your existence here? We all play a specific role in this world that's untouched by every other thing but us. And that's what exactly we're supposed to do is act upon that and just be ourselves in this, in this world. But we have to have that gratitude that we are ourselves. That's what keeps the system moving. That's what keeps us evolving within this world of ours. But again, you gotta remember, you are still insignificant amongst everything else. So it's obvious if you don't have gratitude, you will swiftly be ignored. Say a random man builds a very successful business over his lifetime, and up to like the age of about maybe 30, 32, he's at the pinnacle of his success. He's married, but he's been cheating on his wife since they've gotten married. And over a five year marriage so far, he's neglected his family completely for his own gains within his business. He's completely glued to his business, his own thoughts of his own success. He's thinking more inward than outward. So naturally from that lack of gratitude, his wife leaves him and divorces him and takes half of his money in court. And the stress is such a buildup within him 
because he has to pay attention to that business because that's all he knows at this point is I'm working on my business the entire time. His business goes belly up and it falls to shit. His wife takes half of his fortune and through all the legal fees he loses all of his money and has to file for bankruptcy. Losing his business all intertwined with it all. And then shit out of luck, he has to move back with his parents. That's such a pathetic state of mind. But eventually that man has a thought one night. Instead of biting the bullet and just totally ending it all, he escapes his inward thoughts and starts moving outward. And he starts seeing stuff that's what's called a silver lining. Now silver lining is, say you're in a negative situation, but there's positive aspects about it. That man soon realizes that having nothing brings ease. It's a relief. It's less of a headache than having stuff to worry about. He starts to have a shift of attitude of gratitude for having this clean slate of life for new beginnings. But then this man starts thinking about different business practices, giving more of a benefit to the consumer as opposed to his own benefit. But he has to support these ideas. But then again, he has this shift of an attitude of gratitude so he's thankful that he could work a 9-to-5 job, even though he's not worked it in years, to provide a chance to these new aspirations for a business adventure in his head. Now along this shift of an attitude of gratitude, this man starts exploring places that he would usually scuff and laugh at, as if he would think he'd ever be there hanging out, but then he meets someone. He ends up meeting someone very special. He ends up meeting his soulmate. And then eventually through all this emotional pain and hardship, this shift of his attitude, towards gratitude, carried him through it all. He ended up starting a better business than he would hope for, giving more of a gift to the consumer than a gift back to him, and he found true love. So be grateful for everything, guys. Everything that goes on. Have thanks for it. Let that shift to the attitude of gratitude guide you through it all. Be thanks for the people who are more successful than you, have better lives, supposedly, date better women, better looking, better cars, more money, come from a nice family, all of it. Be grateful for it. While also being grateful for what you have as well. Everything. We're all intertwined in this all. And once we get onto that shift, it's a smooth path. We're evolving naturally as it is. So give thanks and have that attitude of gratitude. It'll surely carry you through life. Saint Perigine, patron saint of all forms of cancer. We ask you for your help in asking God to heal my cancer and keep it in remission. Pray for me so that I may live a long and faithful life. 